48 GB, 4090 Ti, RTX 4090 Ti, 48 GB, 900 Watt power consumption. Just can't imagine, guys. So, hello everyone, new rumors surrounding the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 40 series graphics card lineup which includes the GeForce RTX, RTX 4090, RTX 4080, RTX 4070 and a 900 watt flagship have been posted by 47 Kimi. The rumors further detail the configurations we are going to see in the upcoming lineup along with a few prototype cards that may or may not make it to a re retail shelves. NVIDIA GeForce RTX 40 graphics cards. AD102 GP with 900 watt TDP and 48 GB memory. Guys, can you imagine? RTX 4090 24 GB with AD102. RTX 4080 16 GB with AD103. RTX 4070 12 GB with AD104. According to the leaker, currently Nvidia has only started testing the AD102 GPUs, which will go on to power the likes of the GeForce RTX 4090 Ti and GeForce RTX 4090. The Nvidia GeForce RTX 4090 graphics 4090 or 4090 ti i don't know graphics cards are already positioned as bf gpus and have replaced the titan plus yeah that means 4090 ti titan plus offerings there still are workstation offerings that offer some useful features such as ecc and graphics virtualization support but besides that the geforce bf gpu and rtx workstation cards are pretty much the same mostly now nvidia based on the leak we have further specifications of three graphics cards and a prototype that is not known if it's uh, just a test unit or a graphics card that would eventually make its way to the market later. The known variants include the GeForce RTX 4090, GeForce RTX 4080 and GeForce RTX 4070. You may remember a while ago when uh, Nvidia's add a lossless GPUs will feature power consumption close to the 1 kW range that was much higher than the now known 600 watt TGP that the GeForce RTX 4090 graphics card is expected to rock. It looks like this specific SPU is uh, being tested by Nvidia and also features the full fat 8102 GPU but with a 900 watt TGP guys. 900 watt. That's a 300 uh, watt TGP increase over the RTX 4090. The graphics card is said to be powered by dual 16 pin connectors and that would require a similar power setup as the GeForce RTX 3090 Ti King pin which we saw a few days back. Now one reason why there is such a huge increase in TGP is that the card is expected to rock 48 GB of GDDR6X memory that's twice the memory capacity of existing RTX 3090 and also RTX 4090 which launches later this year. Nvidia already uses 2GB memory dies on one side of the RTX 3090 Ti to reach the 24GB capacity. So a card of this scale would have a total of 12 2GB memory chips on both sides of the PCB. This means that we might once again end up with really high GDDR6X temperature on the graphics card, which is most likely the case given the frequencies these chips will offer. 24 gigabyte per second versus the 21 gigabyte per second of the RTX 4090. Such a memory clock across a 384 bit bus will be providing up to 1.15 terabyte per second of bandwidth. And this excess clock for the memory and GPU plus twice the memory dies are going to consume a lot of power. So 900 watt while sounding absurd does look very possible for such a monstrous power checking GPU configuration we can say. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090 will also rock the same AD102 GPU but in a cut down configuration based on the rumor, the AD102 GPU will make use of 144 SM, uh, uh, 71% increase over the existing GA102 GPU and a house a massive 18,432 CUDA core count. In addition to the SM counts, the ADA Loveless GPUs will also feature increased L2 cache sizes starting with the 8102 GPU, the flagship would be outfitted with up to 96 megabyte of L2 cache, an insane 16 times increase over the 6 megabyte L2 cache featured on GA102. The graphics card will additionally rock 24 gigabyte of GDDR6 memory, clocking in at 21 gigabyte per second across a 384 bit bus interface and delivering over 1 terabyte per second bandwidth. From the TGP figures we have seen, the card will have a TV of around uh, 600 watt at reference and that's going to go up with the non-reference designs. 
as we saw with the GeForce RTX 3090 Ti, there are certain models that go beyond 450 watt TDP and up to 560 watt custom. The same is going to be the case with Ada Lovelace based cards. And while this will require lots of cooling, it looks like AIVs are well and ready. We are likely going to see the use of more hybrid styled GPU coolers rather than traditional air coolers once we go above 600 watt TDP limit. This will mark a 33% increase in TDP over the RTX 3090 Ti. Let's talk about NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4080, the top AD103 GPU for gamers. The, AD, the other two configurations that have been rumored include the GeForce RTX 4080 and GeForce RTX 4070. For the RTX 4080, NVIDIA is expected to utilize its AD103 GPU. The AD103 GPU will replace the GA103 GPU, which was recently introduced on mobile and featured the same SM count as the GA102 GPU uh, at uh, 84. The AD103 GPU will feature 64 megabyte of L2 cache. The AD103 GPU is said to feature a TGP similar to the GA102 GPU, so around 350 to 450 watt, and features 16 gigabytes GDDR6 memory across a 256 bit bus interface. The memory clocks have uh, have not been stated, but they are likely going to be around 20 gigabyte per second. And GeForce RTX 4070, which is AD104 at 300 watt. Finally, there are the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4070 class GPUs which will utilize the AD104 GPUs. The AD104 GPUs will feature 60 SM units for a total of 7680 CUDA cores and a total of 48 megabyte of L2 cache. The RTX 4070 series in specific will feature 12 gigabyte of GDDR6 memory running across a 192 bit bus interface and feature a TGP of 300 watt. Considering that these are GDDR6 chips we are likely going to get 16 to 18 gigabyte per se uh, second speeds which should provide a, a bandwidth of around 400 gigabyte per second. The NVIDIA Ada Lovelace GPU family is expected to bring generational jump similar to Maxwell to Pascal. It is expected to launch in the second half of 2022 but expects supply and pricing to be similar to current cars despite NVIDIA spending billions of dollars to acquire those good good TSMC's 5 nanometer wafers. So that's it from now. If you like this video, please subscribe and press the bell icon for future notifications updates. Thanks for watching.